Okay, Daniel, um, just getting to your project here. Let's see what you got. Uh, this is a, a response to the forums right now. Um, Daniel is using my pro plan, so he's uh, got special permissions to a particular forum. And oh, I love it when this happens. Daniel bubbled the problem areas. I love that. I love that. Um, this is not a practiced video, and so let's get into this. I know what the problem is. The stated problem is one is that um, this overhang isn't defaulting to what he has specified, but um, that doesn't really matter here because Chief is going to build to the same height fascia, right? So in that case, it's going to make this overhang whatever it needs to be, considering that this is a different slope than this. That's all there is to this. Um, so that if you were to change the slope of this particular wall back to whatever the default is, let's just click default, that's eight and 12, you're gonna see that the overhang reverts to your, whatever it is that you set in auto build. So this is just because it's got a different height overhang. Um, so the solution there is if you need the same height, fascia height in this case, we're gonna have to turn off auto build. Now I think the other, side of this problem is also having to do with roofs so before i turn off auto build let's go i think this is it right here yeah so you've got a skylight here and you got a scissor truss system that's built from a ceiling plane right and for some reason it's not building the shaft even if we okay you did this um let's try automatic and let's even try just plumb and square and press OK, and if that's not building, then you might have run into a glitch, and you should report that glitch. Um, can we work around this in some way? Possibly. Uh, let's give it a shot. So you stated that if you switched this to a rafter roof, then, then it would build correctly. So here's what I would say is, let's just say everything is situated the way you need it. This is now a truss roof right so because it's a truss roof we can open this up we can say um, in terms of structure we can retain the roof framing if we want and actually before i even go further than this let me just double check something real quick in the framing section here under build framing under x16 you do have automatic rebuild of roofs let's just say we've got our roofs finished we no longer have to build it so now I can open this up, say retain roof framing general tab, click it back to rafters. It's not going to suddenly build rafters for this roof. It will retain your existing truss system, right? So there's your scissor trusses. Now it's built that skylight shaft. So there would be my solution there. And of course, this was built on the thought that these were plumb sides originally. So I want to set those back to plumb sides. And there we go. That's pretty much fixed, right? The way you want it, you've got your trusses, bam. So on the other side, this flip side, you needed this to be, now I can't drag this 18 inches, unfortunately, not in this particular view. Um, so we need to come back to some kind of overhead view and we can select this. And it looks like this is dimensioned to something that's arbitrary, maybe a point to point dimension tool, which I always encourage people not to use. And because you can see here that I can't select this and do anything about this edge. So it's not actually being dimensioned to this roof line at all, which means it's not very useful. That's why I'm always like, you know, set up your manual dimension tool so that this is properly used so that we can hover over this and click and change this to something like 18 inch overhang. Bam. So now that we have that 18 inch overhang, obviously these are not going to meet up in this way so i would probably be making a break there return this and then i don't know what you'd be doing here let me take a look in 3d so if this is an 18 inch overhang and these aren't matching up what would you be doing here um how are you actually going to build this would be my question so if you were trying to have them still meet up and match up then you're just going to be changing those fascia heights so what i would do here is open this up grab that fascia top height designation copy it to your clipboard come back over here open this up lock the pitch paste the fascia top height now you have these two roof planes have their fascia top heights in plane with each other you're gonna have to rebuild for this roof and then i can come in here and click the selected edge and join these roof edges 
right? And so now we've got same fascia top height, 18 inch overhang. And the only thing left is that you'd have to rebuild this particular roof. It does look like we've got rafters turned on. Bam, there we go. That part's done. You're also gonna have to rebuild this roof, right? So I think that solves it all. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions. And uh, thanks for posting in the forums. Really happy that people are starting to utilize that. Cool.